Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is CY2 Squared and today we are playing Days Gone. We're doing the storyline mission. I remember and it says, what did you do? Visit Sarah's Memorial Stone. So this must be the Nero checkpoint that the helicopter was flying to in the beginning cutscene. And here we are right at the camp. I got my bike parked over there. Let's go ahead and take out our 22 suppressor. 22 semi-automatic with a suppressor. Ooh, always looking for extra crafting material. That bike gets junked real easy. A machete. Uh, let me see how much I got left on my ripper blade. Oh, the ripper blade was broken. Good thing I picked that up. Didn't even notice that it was gone. So far, I've discovered that Ripper Blades are the best as far as melee weapons go. It only takes two whacks, sometimes even just one whack. Let's see what we got here. Where are you? Med kit? Nope, bullets. I'm maxed on bullets. Ammo is maxed out. I was just at Tucker's camp and decided to just go ahead and refill the ammo there is something over here must be outside here we go you can always use herbs you can turn those in for credits <laughs> Got another one. Crowberry. Looks like I'm full on everything. I'm just going to concentrate on getting to where we're going. Oh man, look at the mini map. Okay, so we can't get through there. Can we climb up over here? No. Man, I really am maxed out. I guess I don't need to scavenge for anything right now. Little satellite. Miss me. Thanks for the bounty, though. This is kind of like an ambulance, I guess. A mobile medical unit they were using. Got one over there. Here we go. I'm telling you guys, stealth pays. Stealth is a good thing to use in this game. Sometimes I like just going in guns blazing, just to mix it up, make it fun. But for the most part, I usually try to run stealthy. It's important to get your stamina up in the beginning so if you do get caught and there's more than you can handle you can get the hell out of dodge I keep hearing them but I'm not seeing them Two by four, don't need you. Something kept popping up over here, and then when I come over here, it's gone, so screw it. Got some good XP there. 
So if everybody, if this started with a flu and everybody was coming down sick, why did some people just, as you can see, die and others turned into the zombos? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Goodbye. Okay, so it says zero of nine clear camp of freakers. I just call them zombos, but we can call them freakers. It don't matter. It's their game, not mine. This is where using rocks comes in handy. Freak's not here. You got that? You feed wherever the hell you want, but not here. You know what? Screw it. This camp is mine. Let's just go ahead and turn them out. You got that? Yeah, that's right. Goodbye. Yes, that was awesome. I got three of nine. Definitely need this crafting material. There's none back there. would be sad man you think you're doing the right thing sending your woman with a medical professional even though he said oh, I'm just a grad student he would know more about medicine than you would you know what's all that Is that still a part of the recording or was that actual gunfire somewhere? Um, okay, that was weird. cut his arm off did you see that okay we got one more around here somewhere I wonder if we can go ahead and push this out of the way yes we can we got one more Where's he at? I 
hear you, but I don't see... There you are. Let's go ahead and just blow him up. Hey, over here. And goodbye. That's the last of them. I saw Sarah's headstone yeah, over babe. here. Yeah, I, I cleaned them out. They won't be bothering you no more. Uh, hey, me again. Oh, it looks like we're going to get some backstory. Maybe a cutscene? Deacon, I'm going to tell you something. I, it's okay, it's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to blow up like this. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I not lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sir, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on. Ah! Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, what? Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. Mm. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. What was that? Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged the hell. She's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How are you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want me to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Okay, guys, so we get a little more of the backstory, just a little bit at a time, and then apparently all she wanted to do was help a lost kid, and... Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey, mm. easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Mm. So we used to play that hide-and-seek game all the time, and she would just... Hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move her. We're going that way. Ah. Come on. Alright, hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's here? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out There's here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed my wife. Oh no no no! Look, I, I didn't know anything about no. your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. Do you didn't do anything. You killed her. 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 You killed her.
Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not... Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, Where? okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that. We gotta get on that. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. Shit than this before, you know. Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. So we get quite a bit more of the backstory. I heard there was like six hours of cutscenes in Days Gone. So pretty interesting. And that's heavy, man. He had a heavy burden to carry right from the get-go. That I mean, he had no other choice. That guy forced his hand. It was either die or kill, you know. And... I could under, I can understand why he turned into a bounty hunter because his wife, his girl, old lady, whatever you want to call her, tries to help a little kid. Whether the kid was just scared, like a cornered dog, abused dog, or whether you rest easy, okay? I'll uh, I'll be back to check on you. And I know, yeah, you would want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. Wow. That's sad, man. Um, so, yeah, he, his, his girl was just trying to help a kid. Whether the kid was turning into a zombie or whether the kid was just terrified we don't know you did get a glimpse of the kid's face and I think they looked a little weird but it was so quick that I couldn't tell um, so no doubt he would turn into a bounty hunter and want to take out the bad guys because this horrible world took his woman from him so I get it I get his story I get how he feels <clears throat> but uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.